Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meatshield and welcome back to The Settlers 2. Well, I've just been taking a moment to kind of catch my bearings on where I am, because it's been a little while since I recorded the last episode. Uh, it's been a while since I sat down to play this, and I'm just trying to figure out... You don't need to be there. Just trying to figure out where I am, what I've done, where I want to go from here. We're still waiting on additional soldiers to kind of reinforce all of the structures that we've kind of expanded out from. Uh, a lot of these... We've got, we got a little bit of catching up to do when it comes down to... Ooh. We are under attack. Dun dun dun. We are doing okay on our supply of soldiers... Or on, our, on our, like... Reinforced structures. We're, we're still missing, like, kind of um, backup supplies of troops. For the most part, we're doing okay. We are still waiting on lots of coal. That is just the situation we're in right now. We seem to have held off that f battle fairly well. So, strategy for today is going to be. Get our forces all caught up. Get ourselves back to kind of full standing in most of our structures. And we're going to start pushing in through this way towards the headquarters. And I'm thinking what I might do is going to be the strategy where I just surround the headquarters and just try and whittle down their troops. I'm not sure, I think this can be targeted with catapults, so that could be an option, but I'm not sure how much stone I have. I don't have a huge amount. So that could prove to be a bit of an issue. Um, but yeah, we are still just kind of... We're waiting on soldiers to reinforce all our structures, and then gold coins to come down to promote them all. We're getting there. It's slow progress, but we're getting there. It won't be too long before we start pushing for some of these additional... Uh, pushing these lines forward a little bit. Next target's going to be these two watchtowers and this guardhouse. And then we are going to be within spitting distance of the headquarters. I'm going to have to quickly take out this catapult, though. Because that's going to be a problem. So it'll probably be these two watchtowers and the guardhouse. Followed by as quick a charge forward to this watchtower as we can do. If I can do that, we should be okay. Ooh, a fisherman's hut's run out. Cool. I have to move you somewhere. I don't know where. Could bring a fisherman's hut down this way, I guess. These guys are being very sneaky. Oh, they're sending out quite a few troops this time. Hmm. It's fine. None of those guys are generals. They, they won't stand a chance. No, not against me. <laughs> Ooh, this guy's getting close. Are you kidding? You cheeky bastard. Uh, yeah, I know I'm under attack here. Why are you giving me two notifications about it? Fact if I know. What is this guy made of? He's doing really well. Oh, he's finally dead. Good God. That guy had like some sort of magic health pool. Shit, an iron mine's run out. It's alright. We can manage. Oh, and again. You guys are not gonna give up. It's fine. I'll just kill all of your soldiers. It works fine for me. <laughs> Promotions are coming along well. It's just taking a little bit of time, and it doesn't help that you guys keep leaving. I mean, well, you're all generals, oh god, you're not actually... 
Yeah, I suppose constant attacks, you know, that you're not getting a chance to heal up. It is whittling down your health. That's not helpful. This means I have to keep retraining privates. Some of these stru some of these buildings are doing all right on troops. You're loaded up with with guys that just haven't been promoted yet. But overall, this is being a bit of a it's been a bit of a bugger. Definitely feel like I lost one on that one. Although, oh, maybe I didn't. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Five going back in there, I think. One going back up in there. Yeah, I actually think we came out of that okay. I am very tempted to not... Actually, yeah, I will put that there. I'm tempted to build myself another mint. It stretches my coal reserves a little more. But it does mean that whenever coal comes in... Um, if this one's producing, this one can be, like, making stuff as well. It kind of works out. It does... it splits the, uh... It can potentially double the output. As long as everything's running at full speed. Yep, we came out of that one, okay. Well done, chaps. We've got a good supply of grain as well now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this other mill. Because we're now... We're struggling on flour for the bakeries. So these guys can just get back to work, I think. Now that we've got this last farm down here, I think we're actually building up a surplus of, uh, of grain at a decent enough rate that we can, we can justify having more mills active. Good god, they, these guys just do not stop, do they? Where are you coming from this time? Hmm, and coal mines are starting to run out up here. Uh, sure, that was going to happen eventually. But we've got more locations we can be setting up more, so we'll probably be okay. Might connect this one up. Oh, for crying out loud. Will you go away? Might have to push this advantage on, on them sooner rather than later, because I'm just getting sick of their tenacity. But if I go in underprepared for this, it could bite me in the arse. I don't want a bit an arse. Thank you. No. No thanks. I think all of my structures have now been fully reinforced with soldiers, so I should be starting to build up a surplus. Not yet. <laughs> but with pushing these lines forward, some of the in more internal structures will empty out, which is just part and parcel of all this. You guys are back. Once again. Now, one, one thing I'm wondering is when I start heading south down this way, I'm pretty sure these guys might end up being an issue if there's a land connection. I mean, I don't think there is, but there's the potential that they would be able to get across and start harassing me. I'm trying to figure out whether or not I should try and wipe out this lot first before going for the portal. But I really do want to wrap this up and get onto the next island. Tough decisions. Mm. Ooh. Where are you guys going? Where, what are you guys going for? Are you going for this watchtower? Mmm, sneaky bastards. Jeez, another one of my gold mines has run out. I'm burning through the resources in this mountain. Oh, good god. <laughs> Just back down. It's not going to end well for you. What? I just built this and it's telling me there's no resources? Okay. 
Send out a geologist. I'm going to find out where the next lot of gold is. Send one out here as well. Another coal mine's died. Okie dokie. And I'm under attack at a guardhouse again. Today is busy. Yeah, I think all up this northwestern side, we've cleared out all of the gold. We are getting there. With a lot of these military structures, most of these promotions are done. Another coal mine's run out. Joys. Okay, I think I've found where the gold starts now. So, let's tear you down. I'll call it at that. Cheers, babe. Cheers, bub. Gold mine. Hmm. Right. Back down to normal speed just for a moment. That needs one more coin over there, and it's done. Everywhere else, I think you're finished. Those guys are done. Cool. So once you guys get back to your shacks, we will push the front again. All right. Attack that with six. Attack that with ten. Attack that with ten. And I could attack that, but I'm going to hold off until I've secured these buildings first. This is where the fun begins. Mm. If anything, I just want to straighten out this bit of road. <laughs> Those are my priorities here. <laughs> speed it up a bit. Just let my inevitable victory come a little quicker. They have got no generals left to defend against, or defend with. That's one down, two down. And three, come on. Be nice to me. There it is. Oh, yep. And I knew that catapult was going to start flinging rocks at me. Straight away. No coins. No coins. No coins. We're immediately going to attack this one with ten soldiers, this one with six. Take these two, take this one, and we'll consider that a good day, I reckon. Now we've got to catapult down this way. I don't know what's under this fog right now, but I need to get rid of this. I just really like the idea of encompassing their headquarters, just being like, yeah, fuck you guys. Just surround them. Oh, one already. There goes that one. And there goes the watchtower. Oh, shit. Yep, problems. We got problems. We'll manage. Let me just connect up some roads. Alright, so you. Take out that watchtower and that one, most likely. Mm. Plus side, that stronghold all the way back there is completely cleared out. As of you, you've still got a few generals in you. You're doing alright. You've cleared out for the most part. You guys are buffeting up against a border, so you're going to be full for a while. But hey, everything else has gone massively according to plan. <laughs> you could have your coin supply opened again, I think. 
and so can you, just to promote those guys up. Right, um, might try and get a lookout tower built, just so I can get a glimpse further into their territory, see what I'm going to be dealing with as I push further in. Unsurprisingly, they're trying to take their buildings back. I mean, I don't blame them, I'd be doing the same. But, bugger off. It's mine now. I took it fair and square. Ooh, we do have a little bit of a build-up of soldiers. We've got some generals in reserve. Nice! And a sergeant and a corporal, and four privates. Those are all good numbers. And a supply of gold coins. A growing supply of gold coins at that. Just going to bring a geologist out to see what might be left in these mountains. I don't know how much they're going to have cleared out, but it's worth checking. See what I can find. Ooh. Are you a general or an officer? I don't know, but you're doing a good job of clobbering this guy. Fuck. I think you're a general, aren't you? Well, now you're not, now you're dead. <laughs> Ooh, we found some iron ore. Like, one patch of it. Which ain't great, but it's something. I can work with it. For a little while, anyway. <laughs> okay, lookout towers are up. Let's see what we can find. That catapult seems to have shut down. I'm not entirely sure if they've run out of stone or not. I'm hoping they have. If I don't have to worry about that, that makes my um, conquering of their land a little bit easier. And they are continuing to throw their soldiers at me. Hmm. Ooh, look at how I'm mad. Ooh, right, okay, we got our southern coast. So there's only one catapult here. Nothing further south. I wonder does that... Oh, that does connect onto another landmass. Which might... No, I don't think that connects all the way around. I think that's just a little bit of a lake here in the middle. Uh, and then we've got this, which looks like it might be a decent bottleneck. Once we get over here, obviously connects over onto this a little further south as well. Onto the landmass that goes south from here. But okay... Thank you, Mr. Lookout Man. I think we're wiping these guys out today. So... Let's get started with that, shall we? Let's go for... Should we go for you? Ooh. I might have to wait until they're done fighting me. Because they're, they're, they're enjoying this, I'm sure of it. Yep, okay, we're done. I think I might cross over this northern section. So we'll attack that one with six. Go for nine on that one. Shit, two coal mines have run out at exactly the same time. That's okay. I'm fine with this. <laughs> Connect you up. Doesn't mean I can tidy up my roads around this farm, though. So that's good. Alright, those two buildings captured. Bravo! Good news from the front. Didn't quite get that catapult, though. But that's not firing. Hmm. Right, let's wait for reinforcements to come in. We'll see where we're at with uh, soldiers that are needed. And then we'll push in further. Coin supply stopped, coin supply stopped. You don't need a coin supply. So I'm going to cut them off right down the middle. Right down here. So we'll go ten there. Oh, four? That's annoying. 
Either way, we're going to cut right through the middle. Ooh, this guy's putting up a good fight. But I have the stronger numbers. I have the stronger force. I will win in the end. Of that you can be assured. Just that guy might have to die in order to succeed. Some of you may die, but that is a sacrifice that I am willing to make. <laughs> There we go. We got it. Nice work, lads. Nice work. Ooh, you could do with a coin supply. You've got a private in there. We don't need that. And you as well, I guess. And why not you? I can probably spare the coins at the moment. You, I'll leave as you are. And another coal mine is done. Bugger. Get some geologists out here. Let's see what I know. We've got coal down here. I just want to know exactly where. That coal is just the most needed resource at the moment. Gold also, but we're kind of doing okay on gold. I suppose in hindsight, sending coins off to off to all of those other buildings might have been a bit of a poor choice. But that's me. Poor choices all over. And an iron mine's dead. Okay. Okay, we've got coal down here. So let's set you up. I'm just going to speed time along. In order to get all of these buildings fully promoted, or all of these soldiers fully promoted, I should say. No, how do you promote a building? It's a dumb question. Don't answer it. I don't want an answer. Don't don't even fucking start typing those comments. I, I don't want to know. Just chuck down another couple of coal mines, because I think this one is done. It's full of food and it's not producing anything. So I'm deleting it. Deleting. Destroying. Whichever kind of means the same thing. Our front lines are nearly fully reinforced, fully upgraded. Just waiting on a handful of gold coins to make their way down. And I think all the coins I need are on their way. Right here. Yeah, we're ready to go. And... Come on. Come on. I know you want to do it. There we go. Good. Right. Let's cut, on, cut them off here. Charge for that one. And we'll charge for there as well. I want to surround these headquarters before I obliterate them. Mmm. It's going to be a good feeling. I'm not a tyrant. What are you on about? Fucking love the way these things explode. <laughs> so, I'm almost at the end of this episode. Let's go full force on the headquarters. 35 soldiers. That's a lot of soldiers. I don't even think they've got enough soldiers to match all of my generals. So that's pretty fun. You're the last holdout down there, mate. Come on. And done. There we go. Now you just watch all their civilians just wander around the place blindly for ages before they all die off. This game's pretty savage. Well, we do still have a bit... We're still a bit too close to a lot of the front line for... Most of these structures? A lot of these have cleared out. Some damn good news. Uh, and we've got a fisherman's hut that's run out. Okay. Got a huge supply of bread, though. So that's good. How are we doing on pigs, actually? We've got fucking loads of them. Definitely need another slaughterhouse. 
hopefully I've got I've got a meat cleaver. Have I got another butcher in stock? No, but another slaughterhouse will definitely help out with the food supply. But okay. This episode has been a little bit slow going, because waiting around for promotions and sorting out all that sort of stuff. But we are in a much better position now that we have essentially taken out one of our opponents. Like, they're not completely out of the picture just yet. I did say I was going to try and... or I was going to wipe them out with this episode. But we pretty much just cut the balls off. We pretty much, you know, castrated them completely. Their headquarters are gone, and their their little kingdom is kind of fractured into various little pockets that we can eliminate without much difficulty. So our attention is going to have to turn to this yellow faction over here. Now that we've got these uh, pink guys dealt with. But in the next episode, what I'll do is I'll mop up the stragglers over here. Because they could still potentially be a problem, and we do need to get through them in order to get over this way. So, next episode, the fun truly begins as we go on to fight a very prepared military force. This is going to be an interesting one. So for now, I'm going to wrap this episode up here. Just say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out the playlists on the channel for more Let's Plays or Metal Covers, and give this video a like or a comment just to leave your thoughts. And if you wish to join the ever-growing ranks of the Order of the Shield, subscribe on YouTube, chuck me a follow over on Twitch, or maybe even consider checking out my Patreon and becoming an officer within the ranks. But thank you again for watching this video, and I will catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Meat Shield, signing off. Captain Spirit would do the dishes. <laughs> so you're doing that. <laughs>